Cloudflare's got this new free public DNS service that respects your privacy. So Manny, you got something about Cloudflare you want to share with us? So I think probably most people know who Cloudflare is. They're a, you know, basically a content distribution network. They provide you know, DDoS uh, mitigation. They actually provide a whole ton of services and they've been around for a while. Um, and they have recently come up with a, basically their own you know, DNS. It's a DNS service. It's free and it's public and in essence provides a level of privacy that we haven't seen before from a, a free DNS service. They're hosting it on 1.1.1.1, right? They launched this, which everybody thought was an April Fool's joke, on April 1st, four slash one. So oh, right. four, four ones, ones, right? Right, one dot, one dot, right. One exactly. Right. So, um, so I think they got a little bit of slack from all the media, you know, saying, "Hey, is this a joke?" You know, um, but they quickly, you know, pointed everybody to the actual site. So if, I think if you go to https slash one dot one dot one dot one, you'll actually get to a page that shows you everything about what the service is actually going to provide. So, of course, they're promising to speed up your internet connection. So they're saying that going to this provides you a 10 millisecond faster DNS response than the next closest, the next fastest DNS resolver. Right. No one's on it yet. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I saw that and I was like, nobody's using it right. yet. So let's see yeah. how things shake out uh, in about six months. Right. So what they're promising in terms of privacy is they promise never to write the querying IP address to disk, okay. okay, and to wipe all of their logs of DNS queries within 24 hours. You know, their focus in their service is speed and privacy. That's been a hot topic lately, so I think that they're probably going to get a lot of people interested. So to me, this is a little interesting because um, I understand where they're going, right, in terms of a privacy thing, but then you've got some of these other providers like OpenDNS, and mm -hmm. I've used them. One of the things I like about them is the fact that because they keep a log of where you go and what you're doing, you get a really powerful control panel mm. that you can actually turn on and off certain things. So I could say, hey, I want to see where I was going to uh, from my home network, um, and maybe I want to block uh, advertising domains or I want to block adult content uh, <clears throat> domains and things of that nature. So they give you some kind of customizable control panel to control your DNS experience. Right. Um, where I'm going to guess, I don't know, but it sounds like if they're not keeping any data, um, they may or may not have much control panel configurability to your DNS experience, even though it is a free public service. Right. Uh, so um, I guess it's a mix of what you really want uh, capability-wise as a user. Yep. I think the timing on this is, is pretty important for them to bring this out in lieu of some of the things that we're hearing now about, you know, data and privacy, you know, what's, what's going on out there. And, and people are really starting to turn into keeping their data to themselves as compared to, you know, a couple of years ago, everyone posts and, and does all, all this other stuff. And now it's starting to kind of pull into itself. And this is just one other feature you know, stop tracking where I'm going for uh, those individuals that want to be anonymous completely out there on the internet, which is next to impossible, but this is one step closer to it. So I think, I think the timing with, with their announcement on April 1st is well thought out. Good marketing. Right, yeah. So, you know, switching over to something like this doesn't really make sense for, for, for businesses or big businesses. I think this is really more geared towards the individuals that, you know, that do have sort of privacy concerns. Typically in an enterprise footprint, your system administrators and security people are gonna wanna know where your users are visiting inside your company. So you want some logging. 